My name is Daniela Chonkova, and I'm a program manager at the Plant Research and Communications Fund, Park Fund, based in Sofia. We're one of the most proactive organizations in Bulgaria in the field of innovation and digital transformation, and one of the oldest NGOs in the country, set up in 1991. ArcFund is the lead partner of the Citizen Action, which started in August 2019 and brings together partners from Bulgaria, Greece, Portugal, Spain, and Germany. Citizen considers urban farming as a driver that can improve regional policies on green innovation and resource efficiency, as well as to enhance uh, new business and innovation models based on urban farming in our cities. In Bulgaria, it is most advanced in the capital city of Sofia, where NGOs and civil society groups have already established several community gardens. The growing interest is also proven by the expanding market of organic and bio food. However, challenges are in place. To date, support from policymakers has been rather limited, and the reason for that is the lack of clear legal definition for urban farming, and hence it remains outside the scope of regional policy. While being new to the national policy framework, it is already among the goals and measures of the vision for Sofia 2050, the long-term strategy of the municipality of Sofia. It is perceived as a driver related to healthy living and healthy people through clean food and water, as well as better living environment where urban farming is part of the city life. In general, it is seen in the vision for Sofia as a horizontal sector cutting across social development, the multi-layered city, living environment with the vertical and roof landscaping of buildings, or circular economy with the local production as a priority. We believe that valuable experience and good practice exchange with our citizen partners will highlight the benefits of urban farming to local and national authorities to result hopefully in more support measures. My name is Konstantinos Tertifanidis. I am agronomist and director of Regional Development Fund of Central Macedonia, which is based in Thessaloniki, Greece. Central Macedonia is a region with a very strong rural economy and urban centers that produce significant research and innovation. As part of the Citizen Project, the Regional Development Fund of Central Macedonia is a tool of consultation between the region of Central Macedonia and local stakeholders for forming policies. In this context, the stakeholders' consultation that the Regional Development Fund will undertake within Citizen and the action plan design will be used by the Governor and the Region to improve our policies. As well as plans for rehabilitation or utilization of abundant industrial sites or military camps within urban centers. The scheme house cow yard with cultivations for domestic needs was traditional in Greek villages and small cities. A movement back to the land is currently gaining ground Greece. In Thessaloniki, there are some remarkable urban farming examples, such the Aristotle University's territory in the eastern suburban area of the city. Also, within the city, there is a municipality's area of 1,000 square meters is used by citizens for farming. And finally, there is a project which is a neighborhood urban agricultural business model, an initiative that supports community engagement and citizens' co-ownership and the reactivation of public space. Through the participation of, in the citizen project, the region of Central Macedonia aspires to strength cooperation in promoting urban farming for food safety, research efficiency for smart and resilient cities and better living. The lessons that will be learned from citizens will be analyzed in potential experiences and good practices will be incorporated into our policies wherever that is possible, leading to a more sustainable development of our region and our cities. Sou a Margarida Duarte e integro o Gabinete de Apoio ao Investimento do Município de Beja. Com o Citizen, queremos apoiar os nossos municípios a evoluírem com uma transformação económica e social através das hortas urbanas. 
O município tem já uma horta urbana comunitária em funcionamento desde 2012 e foi pioneira na região. Tem surgido desde então outras hortas e iniciativas em várias freguesias do Conselho. Pensamos que com este projeto poderemos passar uma nova mensagem sobre a importância das hortas urbanas e os benefícios para todos. Com um renovado enquadramento político e social nesta temática, faremos com certeza a diferença e contribuindo assim para mais inovação e novos modelos de negócio. O Citizen é um projeto que nos dá acesso a um maior conhecimento, partilhando e aprendendo com os nossos parceiros. Olá, o meu nome é Fernando Romba, sou o primeiro secretário executivo da Comunidade Intermunicipal do Baixo Alentejo, em Portugal. A Simbal é uma entidade regional que apoia os seus 13 municípios em diferentes temáticas, como energia, as alterações climáticas ou a área social. No Citizen, a Simbal é a entidade gestora do instrumento de análise no projeto, o PEDBA, o Plano Estratégico de Desenvolvimento do Baixo Alentejo. Este instrumento agrega as orientações para o desenvolvimento e para o planeamento estratégico da nossa região. Sentimos que com este projeto podemos reforçar o papel e a abrangência das hortas urbanas e orientar da melhor forma os nossos municípios. Penso que este projeto será essencial para reorientar a visão política das hortas urbanas enquanto elemento essencial da transformação panorâmica e social. A região conta já com boas práticas nesta área, com hortas urbanas com modelos de negócio já bem estabelecidos. No entanto, com a aprendizagem possibilitada pelo Citizen, conseguiremos certamente providenciar as ferramentas necessárias para um sucesso de longo prazo. É esse o nosso objetivo. Hello from Spain. The Citizen Project is developed in Spain in the Castilla y León region. The Castilla y León region is the largest region in, in Spain and the third largest region in the European Union. It counts with 2,400,000 inhabitants and also an extension of 94,000 square kilometers around. The two institutions that work in this project are On the one hand, Patrimonio Natural de Castilla y León, la Fundación Patrimonio Natural de Castilla y León, who coordinates the Circular Economy Regional Strategy and is linked to the Regional Government of Castilla y León. On the other hand, the Universidad de Valladolid, with a research program in uh, nature-based solutions. The, the aim of the project is to develop the policy instrument ERDF Regional Operational Program of Castilla y León 2014-2020, in which the investment priority is protecting and restoring biodiversity and soil and promoting ecosystem services, including through Natura 2000 and green infrastructures. Urban agriculture in the region is scarcely supported by authorities, only by municipalities which support it by other purposes like leisure, uh, food safety and also educational programs. Thank you very much. I am Simone Sterli working at the Institute for Rural Development Research in Frankfurt and together with my colleagues and uh, the colleagues from the regional park Rhein-Main we are collaborating in the Citizen Project. The aim of the regional park is to create uh, facilities for recreation and leisure for the inhabitants of the conurbation of Frankfurt and the surrounding cities. Uh, and the main feature is a circular route around the whole area. Um, and along this route there are different um, points of interest um, for the inhabitants that they can visit. A lot of the positive experience that inhabitants can get on this route are of course based on the cultural landscape that is there and this cultural landscape is um, of course a result of the urban farming activities. This is why the aspect of urban agriculture is relevant to us in this project and this is where we also want to start to work on because of course there are some challenges related to farming and the recreational issue and this is mainly an aspect of land consumption There is a lot of competition for land in the area, um, but there is also a lack of understanding of the inhabitants of agricultural activities, production modes and so on. And the third issue that is quite challenging is that 
um, it is difficult to establish good contacts with farmers in the area and this is something that the regional park wants to improve. And for that, um, we aim to develop in the course of the citizen project an action plan um, that will be integrated into the regional park concept. Um, there are some good starting points already to work together with farmers. This is, for example, farm stations along this route that um, offer visitors the chance to see regional traditional practices of agriculture, but also to, for example, buy regional projects and products in farm shops or drink a coffee in the cafe. And we hope that there will be more of this in the future and that we have um, created win-win situations for the regional park, the inhabitants and the farmers in the area.